好咁多位同学，大家好啊！我梁 Sir 咁啊，今次解卷之前呢，少少告白呢，要卖一卖嘅，就係二零二二年嘅年度 Formula 大赛一月初选呢，将会喺下个星期一嘅晚上十一点五十九分呢，就截止㗎啦。咁啊，大家快啲揿返去社群呢个位呢，投下你神圣嘅一票咯。好咁，由于呢条题目呢都係有关于打疫苗嘅，咁所以除咗拜柯嗰方面嘅知识之外呢，通识课呢都有好嘢介绍俾你哋嘅。之前啊，亦都拍咗噶啦，疫苗风云上中下呢、這个已经讲一年前㗎啦。咁当然啦，有冇啲新嘅发展呢？我迟下有时间啦，先会再拍啦。咁但係啦，呢三套片再加埋啦。疫情嘅四大衝突咧，一定係可以幫到你哋咧瞭解到通識科嘅時事啦，亦都能夠啦將人生四大衝突咧發揮得淋漓盡致啊！好，唔理咁多啦，去片。唔讲咁多啦，继续解卷。好，三十二、三十三题咧，都系有关于乙型肝炎呢个病嘅。咁今次呢条题目咧，就要我哋去睇一睇下面呢个 table 啦，就系、是、一个血液嘅测试。咁呢个测试咧，就系想睇下唔同嘅人咧，究竟佢血入面有冇呢个乙型肝炎嘅抗原啦，同埋抗体嘅。咁跟住啦，再去透過呢個 table 呢，就去睇一睇啦，咁邊一個人呢係最需要呢去接種呢個乙型肝炎嘅疫苗嘅？咁啊，成個疫苗嘅原理啦，咁我哋都要揾一揾返書先啦，就係、是、借助住我哋嘅特殊免疫系統嘅特殊性啦，同埋免疫記憶力呢個概念啦，去提升我哋嘅免疫力嘅。嗱，咁所以留意下啦。vaccine 呢一樣嘢疫苗呢，唔係幫我哋預防呢個受唔受感染。你打完疫苗，你仍然會受感染嘅。不過你未必會發病嘅，因為你個免疫系統呢已經夠強壯啦。咁疫苗入面有啲咩啊？入面呢就有啲抗原，咁去刺激返我哋嘅初次免疫反應。咁當中啦，就會有一個免疫記憶力嘅產生啦。而當我哋再次受到呢一款同一款嘅抗原再入侵嘅話呢，我哋就有繼發反應，咁啊俾一個加強咗嘅免疫力，避免呢我哋去真係發病啦。咁所以記緊返啦，即使接種咗疫苗，你仍然係有機會受感染。不過你可能少啲機會發病，或者有一啲重症嘅出現咁解啫。咁所以就唔好迷信咗打疫苗呢就會完全不受感染，係冇可能嘅。所以疫苗接種率同埋受感染率呢係完全兩件事嚟嘅。咁啊，而家啦，睇一睇呢四個人有咩咁特別先。一號仔呢，就係佢又冇抗原又冇抗體嘅，咁佢係一個咩情況呢？佢有機會啦，係從未受過感染，而佢嘅免疫反應亦都冇發生過。咁啊，因為一號仔呢一個人呢，佢個免疫系統係從來未接觸過乙型肝炎呢一個病毒嘅，所以其實佢係好大機會呢，感染咗之後呢，係中招嘅。咁一號仔我哋叫住虎先。跟住啦，再睇二號仔咯。二號仔呢個人呢，佢本身呢就係有抗原喺個身體入面㗎啦。咦，似乎中咗招喎、哦。之但係佢未有抗體喎、哦。咁即係話啦，佢應該係受感染咗，但係佢免疫反應呢仲未發生。咁但係佢打唔打疫苗好啊？已經太遲啦，因為佢已經受感染。打疫苗係為咗增強抵抗力。當我哋受感染嘅時候呢，就可以快手打死嗰啲病菌或者病毒嘅。但係啦，你已經受感染，可見嘅將來呢，你嘅免疫系統應該都會自然地受到激活㗎啦。所以啦，阿二號仔呢，打嚟呢都係嘥氣嘅，所以二號就可以 say goodbye 啦。跟住到三號仔啦，佢嘅血入面呢，係見唔到乙型肝炎病毒嘅抗原嘅，之但係唔知點解有嗰啲抗體出現喎。咁有機會啦，可能呢，其實佢已經係受過感染，但係亦都已經好返啦。咁佢身體嘅免疫反應已經激活咗，從而亦都打死咗嗰啲病毒，咁消滅咗嗰隻抗原啦。咁身體咪冇咗個抗原囉。又或者啦，佢係直接注射咗個抗體都得嘅。咁但係無論邊一個情況都好咧，其實佢個身體都已經有一啲抗體呢去保護佢啦。所以三號仔需唔需要打疫苗啊？都唔需要啦。跟住啦，就去到四號仔啦，佢個身體又有抗原，又有抗體，咦？似乎打緊仗喎，佢應該係屬於受感染，而免疫系統亦都激活咗嘅，咁所以啦，其實佢已經唔需要呢去打呢個 vaccine 啦，所以原來連四號仔都唔需要，咁所以答案呢就只有 A 啦。Before doing the briefing for the question 32, I would like to do a promotion first. So it's about the 2022 thumbnail competition. So please click to the community and then find the post and then do your voting. And the deadline will be next Monday, 11.59 p.m.
Okay, so let's talk about the questions. In question 32 and 33 is related to the hepatitis B. And we are going to analyze the blood test table for the presence of antigens and antibody of the hepatitis B in the four individuals. And the question is asking which individual or individuals would you recommend for vaccination against hepatitis B? So firstly, we need to understand the principle of vaccination first. Vaccination make use of the specificity and the immunological memory of the specific defense mechanism to develop an enhanced immunity in the body. So that's why the antigen in the vaccine will stimulate our primary immune response. So that's why we shall develop the immunological memory and once there is the same antigen enter our body invaded, so it will initiate the secondary immune response to give us the enhanced immunity. So we need to recall the concept that if our immune system is triggered and then we produce the antibodies is a type of protection for ourselves. And then for the whole concept of vaccination, we need to clarify is that after getting vaccinated, the virus, the bacteria, they can still go into our body, invaded our body. So, however, with the protection by the immunological memory, we can produce a large amount of antibody in a short period of time. So that's why we may not get sick or develop severe sign. Firstly, we take a look at individual one. In the blood test, there is no antigen and no antibody in his body. It may be because individual one is not infected and that's why no immune response is triggered. So that's why individual A may not be able to produce the antibody within a short period of time to fight against the hepatitis B virus. So that's why there is high chance for him or her to get sick once infected. So that's why individual one may be our answer. And for individual two, there are antigens in the blood, but no antibody in the blood. So actually, what does it mean? It means that he or she may get infected, but the immune response has not yet triggered. But do we recommend him or her to get the vaccination? Actually, no, because it's just too late to receive a vaccination. Vaccination is helping us to enhance the immunity. So the metaphor is like there is a rehearsal for our immune system to meet, to encounter such antigen first. But now actually the immune system sooner or later will be triggered by the antigen. So that's why it's too late to receive the vaccination. And for the individual free, there is no antigen, but there are antibodies in his blood. One of the reasons may be he or she get infected and recovered already. So that's why all the virus, they are eradicated. So all the virus, they are destroyed in the body. So that's why no antigen at all. And then there are some antibody left in the body. Or he or she may receive the injection of the antibody. No matter which case, he or she get the protection by the antibody already. So that's why it's not that necessary for him or her to get the vaccination. And for individual four, there are antigen and antibody in his blood. So what does it mean? It means that actually he or she was infected and the immune response was also triggered. So because the immune response is already triggered, so that's why it's also not necessary to receive the vaccination. So that's why number four also wrong as what we know that individual two also not the answer so that's why final answer will be a